Hey, it's Tenla here and uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, today, I want to show you the problem with steering wheel control uh, that when you first install your Android head unit, uh, you might run into some of the issue. Okay, let me show you the issue that you might run into. Uh, okay, here. Yeah. Um, I have a Honda Accord 2008 uh, with the Android head unit that, uh, you know, I'm going to put the link somewhere. You can see how I got this one into my car. Anyways, um, so the issue with the steering wheel control is that when I press the volume button, take a look at this, uh, my original um, audio system, when I press the volume up, it switched to different mode. You see? It's kind of funny. Sometimes the volume, you see the volume here. It going up too, right? See, sometimes it going down, sometimes it going up. So it doesn't work with the original OEM unit. So it's kind of screwed up. Uh, your steering wheel, see, uh, it's kind of funny. Okay, let me turn it off. All right. So that's that's the issue that you might run into when you first install your Android head unit into your car. Okay. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to correct that, how to fix that. Okay. So just follow me along. Uh, in this video and I'm gonna show you how to fix it okay mm, so let me set this thing up uh, properly so it can be in focus all right so is my screen so you need to go into the factory settings uh, okay all right over here hit there and then factory settings all right enter your password okay Okay, and enter your password. Mine is 4A and hit OK. And you get into this parameter settings uh, page. Uh, first, you need to look for something called direction control settings. Okay, hit there. Uh, too bright. Okay, I don't know if you can make it. Uh, let me, it's too bright and it won't be in focus. So that's the thing. Anyway, so here you get into this page, okay? You see level one, uh, make sure that it's selected. And if you have some other selected, like fix, pull up, 4K, whatever, just remember to select this one. F fix, pull up, 10K, resistor. Okay, it works for my car. You know, sometimes you might select variable, pull up, whatever, uh, for your own car. I don't know but for my Honda Accord so that is the option that I select from my car okay so once that selected you hit OK to confirm uh, the settings so hit OK again so that's it okay and another setting that you might look into is um, the encoder setting okay uh, where where is it uh, encoder setting oh here it is encoder settings Okay, you get into this page. Uh, make sure that you have this one selected. I I don't think it matters, but just make sure that you. Oh my God, the touch is. Okay, there it is. Encoder reading uh, reading ways I O detect, and then positive direction selected. Positive direction for the encoder number two, and encoder one and encoder two function swap. Uh, I don't think that necessary to, to turn it off and then yeah just like that okay encoder settings so that's the setting that I have for my Android head unit for my car you know and then hit OK to confirm the settings hit OK again and that's about it and you can reboot this one uh, you know if you want but let's check it out if it works uh, with the original OEM car, okay? Just go back to my Android head unit here. All right. All right, let me turn the light off a little bit. Okay, here's my volume. I'm gonna select it. Now, take a look at my original OEM. See the volume going up and down? So that's only volume, okay? So it works with original OEM unit and then the channel will switch to different channel so so the channel bu uh, buttons so now to confirm all the steering wheel buttons work with the original OEM okay and the mode 
if I hit the mode, it will change to different mode. Uh, there you see. Different mode. CD, auxiliary, and then FM, AM radio. So it works. Everything works as it's supposed to with the original OEM audio system. That's great, okay? To make sure that that one works first. And then if you want to control, if you want to utilize the these buttons on your steering wheel to control the Android head unit as you know I make I already made the video how to do that already so you can take a look at that video but in the case that you want I can show you quick okay let me turn off my volume okay go into go back into car settings and then in here there's like a steering learn so that's pretty easy pretty quick um, if you want to control the volume let's say you need to hit like a volume plus and then hit that button actually you need to hit this button first like let's say volume plus hit this and then go in here and hit the volume plus swearing in can you add swearing somebody so set up success and then volume minus and then quickly press volume minus and then as you see a check mark for plus and minus so now if i hit the volume up and down and you notice the volume will work on the android head unit okay there it is you see so that's how you assign these uh steering wheel control buttons on the android head unit okay and of course you can assign these buttons as well depends on whatever uh, you want uh, let's say that if I want to switch to a different song and if I want to go back to the home screen for my buttons for my channel minus let's say okay home screen home screen and then I'll hit minus on the channel minus all right so if I hit this one it will go back to my uh, home screen okay but I want to assign to a, to the next song here I'll assign this one next song on my Spotify to the channel plus so if I hit the channel plus I would fast forward to a different song on my Spotify uh, you know when I was playing the song okay so that's how I assign these uh, steering wheel control buttons uh, to work with the Android head unit but first as I said you need to fix those settings in the Android head unit in order for these buttons to work with your original OEM uh, unit okay so that's it for the videos if you find this video is useful for your situation please give a thumb up i really appreciate it and it really helps me with the channel and yeah that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you next time okay bye bye okay let's go back to the home screen hit this look at that so cool all right all right bye bye